the original gravel worlds in Lincoln, Nebraska were obviously canceled due to the pandemic that's going on in the world right now. However, today is the date, August 22nd, that all the riders from around the country and even the world should have been out in Nebraska. But I figured, you know what? Let's do it ourselves. The organizers of the event got in touch with me via social media. I got in touch with my good friends at Stan Snowtube. I got in touch with a couple of my friends, Tony Wolf and Brett Beard, and we came up with a plan to build this beautiful course through the rolling mountains and hills of central Pennsylvania. Here we are, we're at the start, and an obnoxious amount of climbing, but uh, it's going to be a fun day. I think people are just going to be blown away by the sights and the, the gravel in central Pennsylvania. My name is Brett Beard. I'm here riding the Gravel Worlds virtual course with my friends Jamie and Tony. I'm Tony Wolf. We're getting ready to roll out. We're doing the virtual Gravel Worlds today. So 150 miles of beautiful Pennsylvania gravel with about 13,000 feet of climbing. So it should be a fun, brutal day. My name is Jamie Bestwick. I'm a professional extreme stuntman. Uh, I ride BMX bikes, you know, I have fun. I go to Woodward Camp, I ride the vert ramp, I meet the most amazing people in the world. I get to travel and just, just ride bikes. Uh, a great cycling community here. Obviously, we have Rock Rock State Forest, you know, right on our doorstep. We're going to be showing everybody a little taste of Roth Rock today as we travel through it on our gravel ride. The essence of today's ride, it's, you know, it's our version of the gravel world. About as perfect weather as you could ask for so far. Warming up, but good. Brett's been just towing us along. Got our ox on the front all morning. I think we're just over 30, 31, 32 miles in right now. Uh, so 100, about 120 miles left to go. Lots of, lots of up also. So far, I haven't got lost, which is my usual go-to plan, but there's still a long way to go. So, uh, yeah, I don't know, you know, who knows? As long as I'm not leading the pack, I think we'll make it back to Roth Rock Coffee. <laughs> I wasn't expecting to get quite this hot today. It's been reading 93, 94. Getting hot! Should be okay. I don't think we'll get back to What time is it? 1.40. I'm being over to 5. 5. Yeah. Probably about 3 hours to go. Yeah, I mean, even if we just kind of cruise it, it should be 17, 18 miles an hour, you know, on the rail trail.
the end of the rail trail, uh, there was a gas station. And I just had to go in, of course, they had pre-packed sandwiches. I grabbed the ham and cheese, and boom, goes the dynamite right there. That was my lifesaver. I think that's right about the time when my legs came back to life. I did kind of a reset, like an on-off. And then Tony, yeah, what happened to Tony? I offered him some ham sandwich, but he was like, nah, dude, I'm cool. I'm Tony, you know, I'm your coach. I don't need that kind of stuff. And I was like, all right, dude. So I ate the ham sandwich and chilling-ish with cramps. You know, I think the rail trail, I managed to iron out a few kinks in my legs. I managed to stop, get some food. And then uh, it was all just preparation for getting up this climb and, and making the home straight. But it's been awesome. Like, it's been such a team effort, you know. Brett and Tony really helped me out when I was going through a rough spot with uh, the cramping in my leg. And then it's funny how it hops from one person to another to another, and everybody goes through their own kind of mini struggles on this ride, so. You know, this course is not easy. It's a, it's a pretty tough course, and uh, the conditions are just brutal. I think at one point it was like 100 degrees, and it's it's humid, it's dusty, it's just um, it's gravel, and that's the gravel world, and uh, that's why everybody loves riding it, and that's why we're here today and doing good things in bad times. It's been a great day to get out and adventure on two wheels. We just came up most of the Coleraine climb, which is our last big climb, last big gravel climb of the day. And uh, beautiful views up here, so we're gonna chill out for a few minutes and then continue on about uh, 20 more miles. Getting tired, uh, but you know, after this, it's just some, some little rollers. <laughs> drop back into town, so we're, we're almost there. There's been like a rotation, like one of us will feel particularly good for a while, and then for a while that person won't feel particularly good, and so we've just been taking turns, pulling each other along, and I think it's worked out pretty well, so for a while on the rail trail there I was feeling really good, so it took a long pull, but, but uh, now they're pulling me, so that's how it goes. I've always watched these videos where everybody's like, oh, when you reach a certain mileage, you go into this dark tunnel. I mean, we went through a couple of dark tunnels today. So mile 100 for me was just the start of 50 torturous miles, but uh, what an amazing day, you know, just the beauty that we saw out on the gravel roads of central Pennsylvania was stunning. Great people to ride with, Brett Beard, Tony Wolf. It was just, it was awesome. Today's ride was another great day on the bike. Got a bit tough, uh, lots of climbing, not great at climbing. It's good to work on your, your weak points and part of racing too, you gotta climb. Yeah, I think it should be like a every Sunday ride kind of thing. Uh, no, it's a bit tough for every Sunday ride, but uh, yeah, I'd do this. I'd do this again. I made it through.
was rough, you know. It was, uh, it was a great day to be on the bike, but uh, most of the day I felt really good. About the first 120 miles, I was, I was golden. And uh, right when we're coming off the rail trail, I think that was about 30 miles to go, I, I was starting to hurt. And I was just trying to keep it real steady after that, feeling good, feeling good. And then like with two little bumps to go on Kepler Road with, you know, six miles to go or something like that, my legs started to cramp. I was, thought I was gonna get away without any cramps, but I, I didn't. And last little bump, like 30 pedal strokes to go, both my legs just completely locked up. Uh, but I worked it out and made it in. So here we are, it was good. Hot just blazing hot. I couldn't take in enough fluids today and got to a point where I didn't want to eat. But that magic ham and cheese sandwich brought some life back into these tiny ass legs of mine and uh, got me here, got me home. So I'm stoked. Another milestone in the riding career of Jamie Beswick. Turns out, Gravel World State College Edition, um, 150 miles, was absolutely brutal. What's next? Bath. Bath. And I lie down, and I grab my BMX, and I'll go ride on Monday. How about that? Thanks so much for taking over the Gravel World social media for the virtual events. Looking forward to meeting you in person next year. All the best, the crew at Gravel Worlds. Sweet.